what a mighty savior has given us another day because he owned life. So beloved, let us thank him. Shall we pray? Mighty Lord, mighty King, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. This is another day you have given us the life. We have to appreciate you. We have to thank you. You are a wonderful Father. You are a good Lord. Immortal, everlasting King, take all your glory for giving us another day. We owe you thanks. May your name be adored. May your name be praised. Oh, what a mighty Father. Our Lord, our King, our Savior, our Master, we give you all the glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for a wonderful day like this. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. What a savior. Beloved, the listeners of Prophet Kenneth, may you also be blessed this morning for availing yourself for the entire prophet to listen to him. May your heart desire be met. Continue to listen to the end time prophets because he, he is ordained by God. May you be blessed. Amen. Beloved, he has given us another day and also another message. The title of the message is the spirit of God dwell in you. So without wasting time, let us go to Romans, the book of Romans 8. And the verses are starting from 8. So let us hear the word of God. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in, in the flesh, but in the spirit. Indeed, the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. Beloved, that's why he said, the spirit dwell in you and I. So we continue, 10. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. 11, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he will raise Christ from the dead, will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwell in you. That is the Holy Spirit in you and I. We continue. 11. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, but to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to the death to deeds of the body, you will live. 14. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage against to fear, but to receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bear witness with our spirit 
that we are children of God. 17. And if children, the heads, the heads of God are joint heads with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. 18. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not ready to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Beloved, Paul is telling us in the book of Romans that if we live in this flesh, we will die. Beloved, that means the spirit is no function and the Holy Spirit is in us and we have to communicate with the Holy Spirit. We have to let him lead us in our daily basis. We have to fellowship. We have to know him. We have to praise our maker because the spirit in us will eager you and I. So this morning, are you living in the flesh or you are living in the spirit? This is my question this morning. So beloved, for as many are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So let us be the sons of God. And the more we be the sons of God, the more we will be with him forever and forever. That is internal life. So this morning, the word has come forth. Don't let live. Don't let us live in the flesh, but rather in the spirit. So this morning, it is time for let the spirit lead you and I. So beloved, who does not want to be the sons of God? If you avail yourself, the Holy Spirit that live with you will have a fellowship. So beloved, it is choice to serve the almighty Jehovah so that the spirit of God Holy Spirit that dwell with you. That is your comforter, your friend, your guide, and your teacher will teach you the word of God. Holy Spirit, we thank you for giving us a message. We thank you. This is what we need this end time. So that you will lead us and without you, we cannot make it. We give you all the glory for giving us a message so that we walk with you. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us a message. And I take this opportunity, the Spirit of God, may you bless your end time prophet, Prophet Kenneth the wife, the children, and also the listeners that listen to him in a daily basis. Oh, Spirit of God, I thank you. I am just an empty vessel that you have used today. May your will shall be done over our lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen and amen.